Hello. Hope my sound's turned off. Um, I'm making myself do a vlog. Why do I sound like that? I don't know. Are you making myself do a vlog? Oh no, not again. Um, don't know why I look that way. Yeah, so um, it is Thursday evening. I was gonna try and remember to not do it on an evening so that I wasn't going, I'm tired, it's late, I'm tired. So, tough. It's evening. The day is done. Um, I'm going to do my next alphabetical line video which will is B and B is for um boobs <laughs> breasts baps um and we um someone who I like I, and I'm probably taking it to I'm probably making more of it than than it is, but they were saying how oh, like sticking your chest out or like wearing a revealing thing is worse if you've got big boobs. And I don't and I took offence to it. I mean mine aren't massive, but I think they count as big boobs and uh, I think we get a rough time, like, um because it's so it's hard because it's so easy to look slutty and like it isn't fair if it's not offensive for someone with small boobs to wear a vest top and yet it's totally they'll be like Ugh, how un distasteful for you with big boobs wearing one I can understand obviously you don't I'm kind of where they're coming from and obviously you don't want to be this f like letting it all hang out so to speak no one wants to see that of any sort of of anybody but i don't think it's as long as they're wearing the right size i don't think it's any different because like it's a body part that is a sexual can be a sexual body part and um if a small uh, girl is in a bikini and a large girl is in a bikini they're both just as exposed. It isn't fair to say like one should be more covered up than the other and it's like, um, I don't know how to express it really, apart from how I just have and I just think, basically what I'm trying to say is whatever you wear they stick out and they're there and we shouldn't have to wear a big tent to cover them up. I know a lot of people um, especially religious people think that you know you are supposed to be ashamed of your body but I mean I don't think we're supposed to be ashamed as such um, and I've never been that good at covering up now I'm getting a bit older I might think about it a bit more but um, I just think people with clothes I just think mostly really people should be able to wear what they want like someone might wear like hideous suit like oh, i keep saying like but people might wear something and that you don't like but it's none of your business it doesn't hurt you to you know it might not be in fashion um but or it might not be to your taste but so what it's their self-expression um, within reason well just totally really unless it's like got if it's got swearing on it and you don't might not want your child to see it or something but even then child probably can't read it <laughs> if they can then you know it's just a word anyway I just as usual, I'm not doing a very good job of explaining myself. I was quite an early developer and uh, I got teased for them quite a lot. And I don't like the fact that people 
attribute people with large bosoms or with early developing bosoms or prominent bosoms even though they're small to be more sexually promiscuous because it's just a fallacy um, I, I was you know quite innocent for a long time you know I didn't lose my virginity till I was 21 and I think that I'm glad I didn't do it sooner I don't have any regrets about that I don't understand how there's so many children doing it and I don't know how I got onto that and B so B is for also bras that encapsulate bosoms um, um, and I like Katie Price bras and they were the most comfortable bras ever and they don't they're usually plain and I don't mean plain coloured I mean they don't have a load of se irritating seams or irritating uh, labels and um, they are usually quite close together so because a lot of the time with bras right they push your boobs outwards and into your armpits, flatten them, make them funny shapes, squish them upwards, squish them downwards. You know, you just want something that's going to be boob shape, don't you? Really? Um, and that's what hers were. They were molded, but then they didn't come up to here like big bras. Often, it kept when I was younger, and they just used to cover my whole body. I felt really ugly, and. Um, that's what my mum chose for me like because the pretty bars were all up to a C cup it's different nowadays everyone's got implants so there's a lot more pretty bars in bigger sizes but you know um boobs um I have I've said before I've thought about having fake ones because I like the shape of them a lot of the time. But I'm not gonna no way, not a chance, not gonna have any unnecessary surgery. No way. And I used to think I wanted Botox. That's B. Botox. My forehead. But I found some good creams. And I don't want Botox. I've seen bad things about it now and it you know, it's botulism at the end of the day. Don't really want to do that. No. So, um, yes, yeah, so a bras. I've done that, sort of. Um, brats. I have brat stalls. They're kept in a cupboard now. They've got quite a few. Look at the camera, dude. Those hats coming off. Never mind. And the kids, oh, all the feet are coming off. The kids used to come around and play with them from next door. I bought these. Oh, they've none of them got feet. That's how they've left them. I think kids have leave them. She's rock. Don't know their names. I made them some clothes. None of them were wearing the clothes I made though. They weren't very good. But I made them some clothes at some point. I bought those when I lived at home. Uh, and uh, I think I was going slightly mad. <laughs> and I um, decided I really liked them, wanted them. And I had them all lined up. And then I bought loads of clothes. And I don't know. At that point the house was so junked even she started to put things in my bedroom and I just felt like I had no control and I just used to live in that room that was my my room was the house for me and um, I just I don't know what I was thinking what a waste of money dolls but I'm keeping them for when I have children you know they're not like the kind of dolls I want to keep on the side and let no one touch them um, a lot of the time my mum had things where you, you have it just to have it, not use it. But I don't see the point in that, really. They were made to be played with. As long as, I mean, I'd look after them. I don't, like, chop all the hair off and 
you know, I wouldn't want a child to like pull them to pieces, but they normal play is what they're for. None of this, I'm not gonna have any of that. Oh no, this is to stay like this in the packet or whatever. Anyway. <sighs> this is not good and it's eleven minutes. B brownies. I used to be in the brownies. Uh I hated the uniform because I hated brown at the time. And I didn't go to the Christian things, you know, the churchy things, but everything else I did. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the craft that we did and the songs and the playing and just and how it was wholesome and yeah, I was brownie. I didn't go to guides. I tried going to guides with a friend and they were bitches. And it didn't have the same feel about it at all and I hated it and I didn't go again. The board games, love board games, um, Monopoly, um, of words, um, Rummy Cub, um, Trivial Pursuit, um, Chess, um, just like board games. Reverse is also a fellow. Um, we had loads of games at home, um, even like Mahjong and stuff. And Ming is like card version game, card game version of Mahjong. Um, we didn't have any of the stupid plastic games like Hungry Hippos or like Mousetrap or anything with all the plastic bits or anything where all you do is silly. We, my mum always had things where it was like letters or numbers or something learning sort of um and i thought i wanted those silly games that everyone else had you know at their house where they'd ruined everything it was all slung in the box all messed up and they'd lost the rules of books and i you know i suppose we had a few things that weren't like mega um we did have some i mean we had these the monkey game where the they just have like a monkey and to link all the monkeys together. That wasn't very um, <laughs> educational. Um, but um, that's not a board game, so. Um, no one will play Monopoly with me now, though, because there was always so many arguments. I mean, not no one, none of my family, like m my mum, will ever play it with me because she wouldn't trade. And the game was stuck because she wouldn't trade, and you've just got to trade. And um, people always fight over the rules, and a lot of people don't know the actual rules, um, and they don't know that a lot of things are just done because their family's done it, and it's not actually in the rules. I won't go into the rules of Monopoly right now, and as long as everyone's playing to the same rules, it doesn't matter. Um, as long as you don't cheat, I can't stand cheaters, but I suppose that's C. Ballet. I did ballet when I was a child. I did um, from the age of about four, uh, four to five, till about ten, nearly eleven. Did ballet, um, and I did shows. I loved doing the shows, and I was the smallest, so they always used to try and get me in the middle, or I'd have a little solo bit, and I did tap at the same time, but that didn't really be. And I've gone over time now and I think my computer's getting angry because of the camera's sticking and I hate that because it means my sound will be out of sync. Um, B for blusher. Get your blusher on, girl, so you don't look like a ghost. And before I go, thank you to any new subscribers. I have managed to get my um, female viewership up from 19% to about 25 so I'm pleased about that just need another 25% <laughs> but yeah an improvement that was good um, I'm going to edit this and upload it hopefully in time before I have to go to bed um, please let me know if you have any video requests um, sensible ones will be considered um, and if I think of any other
things beginning with B, I will add them in the description box. And I hope to speak to you tomorrow. Bye.